Welcome back. You're still watching Morning Live. Now, Marcus Miller, the Yellow Jackets, Matthew also, and the Three Cones are some of the international acts that will, of course, headline the, this year's Stata Bank Joy of Jazz, which kicks off at the Santin Convention Center on Thursday night. The Joy of Jazz will take place it was across four stages, Dinaledi, Dipala, Conga, and Mbira. And in the countdown to Thursday, we've decided to invite uh, the producer of Joe of Jazz, Manto Chinomari, to check on the readiness of the festival. This is crunch time. Good morning. Welcome to Morning Live. Good morning, Levo. Countdown. I mean, I can. I, it just seems like just the other day when the lineup was announced, and it almost seemed like it was, yeah, it's going to come eventually. <laughs> yeah. Readiness. What are we talking about? What are we doing now? Okay, the stage is set. Um, however, the butterflies are just coming out of our ears. Um, I always say to people, if you are a creative, you need to be scared every time you are going to exhibit what you said you are good at doing. Yeah. Um, and we're hoping and praying that people really, really come in droves to enjoy the festival because the planning start way long mm -hmm. so that anxiety is kicking in and say come Thursday let this show just that <laughs> <laughs> how soon can we expect the first batch of artists to arrive the most are arriving on the 23rd mm -hmm. um, and we have a welcome uh, do for them. Mm -hmm. The mayor of uh, Johannesburg always come and host them to welcome them to our jazz city. Yeah. So they're coming in on the 23rd. And uh, the events leading up to Thursday, do you try and minimize those so that, you know, there isn't too much going on as well? They're not too busy. Look, there are events that are leading to the event, especially when uh, they've just arrived. And one of them is the workshop, the music school workshops. Mm -hmm. We can't cut them. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, for all the years we've been doing it, the schools, the students are waiting for this artist to arrive and come and, you know, spend a day with them, have mm -hmm. a clinic, teach them their techniques, the, how they do it, the admin and everything. So uh, there are events that we cannot cut. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, Why it does the concept of workshops, though, work for you? Because you've kept it with, since you started with Joy of Jazz. Every time after every workshop, you know when musicians play, they emulate or they, um, they like somebody playing. So if you take that person that they really admire and follow to them, it just for us, it gives them that boost that you can do it. Mm. And remember, musicians and, and artists have stories to tell. Mm. You go there and Brayu tells you that one day I slept in a van mm. and when that time comes to you to sleep in a van because you're waiting for a hall to open, mm -hmm. there's no hotel, you go back there and say, look, if he did it and he is where he is now, I can do it. And it's all good and well that we're talking about internationals. But for me, I think the most attractive thing about this year is the collaborations. And I've been going on Definitely. and on and on and on most about definitely. the collaborations. What went into this year's collaborations? Because it almost seems like this one was just proper you know collaborations w was the key to it look you can see Marcus Miller anywhere in the world mm. but the, our collaboration had to be totally different mm. it had to be something a concept that has never been seen and we're hoping that some other events carry the concepts and we're hoping that musicians themselves go out there and said, we performed as an African trip time yeah. uh, at the Joy of Jazz as father and daughter, Wanda and Jaco, yeah. and carry that and do it. Um, we wanted it to be the first time to be seen at the Joy of Jazz. Mm -hmm. And yeah. Prince Lingwasa as well has also got wow. an ensemble. Yes. Let's talk about him. It's a 22 piece. I always say 22 and my <laughs> eyes pop out of beautiful women. Ama Kawegas yeah. that will be performing the music of Sibongile Kumalo mm -hmm. and Letambulu. And coincidentally, they are celebrating their birthdays on that same day. Yeah. On the 24th. So these young girls who've been probably playing the music out of, you know, the circuit of these two people. We're bringing them together and say, play the music for these people. They will be at the show. All right. So before we've got 10 seconds to speak to the last batch of people who've been living in a cave and don't know that Jeff Jess is on. <laughs> tickets. Where do we get tickets? I know we've moved to Santin Convention Center. Where do we start? The tickets are at Computicket. We kept the same prices last year. Mm -hmm. Um... 
because we feel it's, you know, it's a good price for people to pay and see the royalty of jazz mm -hmm. that we have there. If you don't have your ticket now, I don't know what's going to happen to you. I have friends that cancel their weddings because they want to be at the joy of jazz. So if you don't have your hot ticket to the standard bank joy of jazz, then yeah. wow. All right, you know what? Let's try and see if we can replay that promo. So just to give people a taste of what is coming up. Uh, Manta Chinomari is, of course, Joe of Jazz producer, speaking to us about preparations for this year's 17th edition, running from the 24th to the 26th uh, of September. Santin Convention Center. Let's play out to the outbreak with that promo. Here it goes.